so uh, the first place we started out, uh, we made a I made a small uh, one uh, uh, eighth life size uh, clay sculpture, and uh, we'll take measurements off this clay sculpture and apply it to this block of snow, which is four foot by four foot by eight foot. So uh, this is a is a one eighth model of that. So right now we're just taking off the big pieces off the, our big square. And once we get the big, uh, the, the big pieces taken off, then we'll go in with the smaller tools and actually start doing some sculpting. But right now we're just taking out uh, the extra that we know we don't need in our sculpture. And then we'll start into doing more of the fine, the fine things like in around here and stuff. And we'll start making marks and slowly taking off snow. And you know, it'll take us probably for today and probably half of tomorrow to get this done. So. We hope to be done by noon tomorrow. This is my first attempt at snow sculpting, and Dwayne's as well. We're, we're both artists. I'm a bronze sculptor, and Dwayne's a painter and a bronze sculptor. So we have some art background, but we've never done this before. So this is, a, this is new for us. Even anybody here that says they're not an artist, if they're involved with doing snow sculpting, they're now artists. Yeah, I think it is, you know, and it's, uh, you have to be able to visualize a little bit. I mean, you're starting with just a square block of snow and you kind of have to visualize what you need to take away. So this is called subtracting sculpting because you're subtracting versus uh, sculpting when you're using clay, that's adding. You're actually adding clay to make a sculpture. So this is opposite. So yeah, it, it, uh, it takes some thought process to, before you start. You got to sit and think about what you don't, you don't want to take something off that you might need later. Yeah. 